Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will tell how Russia's latest breakthrough tank T-90M in one battle. In a recent engagement, the 60th OMBR servicemen faced a significant assault from the Russian armed forces, employing a mix of tanks, infantry vehicles, manpower, and even unconventional Chinese golf carts. The brave fighters of the 60th separate mechanized Ingulitz Brigade successfully defended against this large-scale attack, as reported in their Telegram channel. During the intense confrontation, the enemy utilized a combination of tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, manpower, and those surprising Chinese golf carts. The 60th OMBR proudly declared, anything that couldn't escape now lies on our land as scrap metal. We will drive out the invaders, and our land will soon be clean and flourishing again. The military portal detailed the assault, highlighting three waves of attacks by the occupying forces. Early in the battle, the Ukrainian military managed to disable the T-90M breakthrough, with a total of three such tanks destroyed in the area. In a notable turn of events, some Russian tanks encountered mines, rendering them immobile. Taking advantage of this situation, Ukrainian forces employed impact FPV drones to finish off the incapacitated tanks. The T-90M breakthrough tank, introduced in 2020 as a modernized version of the export-oriented T-90S, faced significant setbacks during the engagement. In a recent development, Ukrainian forces have achieved a significant victory by destroying an advanced Russian T-90 tank through a drone attack. The 17-second aerial footage, shared on social media by Ukraine's Ministry of Defense and filmed by the 92nd Assault Brigade, captures the tank being targeted by Kyiv's forces at an undisclosed location in Ukraine. The subsequent scenes depict the tank engulfed in flames in a field, showcasing the precision and efficacy of Ukrainian military tactics. In the current conflict in Ukraine, the T-90 serves as the primary battle tank for Russia's military. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry recently reported a notable incident where an FPV, first-person view, drone successfully destroyed a Russian T-90 tank valued at 4.5 million. According to information from the website, 1945, the cost of new T-90 tanks is approximately 4.5 million, while earlier and more economical models fall within the range of 2.5 million to 3.5 million. In June 2023, Russian President Vladimir Putin asserted the T-90M ProRiv tank's superiority, declaring it the world's premier main battle tank, according to state-run news agency TASS. During a press briefing, Putin emphasized the necessity for contemporary anti-tank warfare systems and advanced tanks. He stated, It can be said today that the T-90M ProRiv is the world's best tank. As soon as it approaches positions, no chance is left for anyone or anything. It fires to a longer range and more accurately, it also has better protection. The President's remarks highlight Russia's confidence in the T-90M's capabilities and its perceived dominance in modern armored warfare. Sergei Chemezov, the CEO of Rostec, Russia's state-owned defense conglomerate, stated on Sunday that while the T-14 Armada tank is considered the country's most superior tank, it is deemed too valuable for use in the ongoing war in Ukraine. In an interview with the Russian state-run news agency RIA Novosti, Chemezov remarked, the Armada in general is a little expensive, 
In terms of functionality, it is of course much superior to existing tanks, but it is too valuable, so the army is unlikely to use it now. It's easier for them to buy the same T-90s. In a recent update on Monday, Kyiv's military reported that Moscow has incurred substantial losses in the ongoing conflict with Ukraine, according to the General Staff of Ukraine's Armed Forces, since Russia initiated a full-scale invasion on February 24, 2022, they have lost approximately 6,757 tanks. The update also included other significant losses, with Russia allegedly losing a total of 419,020 troops, 10,258 artillery systems, 12,688 armored personnel vehicles, and 347 military jets. The uncertainty surrounding casualty figures in the conflict between Russia and Ukraine underscores the challenges in obtaining accurate and comprehensive data. Ukraine's reported casualty numbers often surpass those provided by its Western allies, and Moscow seldom discloses information about its own casualties. Additionally, Kyiv does not regularly update information on its war-related casualties. This lack of transparency on casualty figures from both sides contributes to the difficulty in assessing the true human toll of the ongoing conflict. The complexities of the situation coupled with information asymmetry highlight the need for caution and verification when interpreting casualty data in the context of this conflict. We will continue to monitor the situation in the current Russian-Ukraine war. Stay tuned for more news and analysis. Thank you.